I think a big, a big important reason to see the lighter side of life, have a sense of humor, is uh, people. Now, who here um, gets stressed out by the fact that you have to share the planet with other human beings? <laughs> Yeah, that can be stressful. Yeah. Right, and for like all kinds of different reasons, like um, socially awkward moments. Oh, they can stress you out if, you, if you're not careful, right? If you take that stuff too seriously, oh, you'll get stressed out. Like, um, like when you bump into someone you haven't seen in a really long time, and they tell you you look wonderful, and they don't. <laughs> Guys, like, right, what do you say in that moment? Like, oh, thanks. And look at you. <laughs> look at you. Right? Like, what do you say? Man. And then there's the other fact that we have to manage so many different personalities around us, right? I mean, you think about your day at work, or even just in your personal life, there are so many personalities to deal with. Right? We humans have so many different ways of finding comfort in the world, so many different strengths and weaknesses, Different, you know, passions and interests, different fears. Oh yeah, a lot of different personalities. Like on one end of the spectrum, you've got the yesers. Maybe you work with some yesers, know some yesers. By the looks of some of these table setups, I think <laughs> there are some yesers among us. Now the yesers of the world, they're always willing to pitch in. Always happy to help out. Oh, they're on every committee. No matter what people ask them to do, no matter when people ask them to do it, they, they say yes, and they make you look bad. <laughs> and then on the other end of the spectrum, you've got what I call the precious people. <laughs> now maybe you work with some precious people. Now the precious people of the world, they can never help out because they've always got a full plate. And they like to tell you about their full plate a lot. <laughs> yes, sorry, I can't help out. Yeah, I still got a full plate. Plate's still full. <laughs> yeah, no matter what people ask them to do, no matter when people ask them to do it, they can't, they got a full plate. <laughs> now, with these precious people, have you ever wondered what size of plate they're walking around with? <laughs> Guys, I'm just saying, there might be some people walking around with teeny tiny plates. <laughs> like, of course you've got a full plate. It came with a friggin' Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> and of course, you need a sense of humor for the negative people. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know the negative people. Maybe you work with some negative people. You know, with their negative attitudes and their negative comments. And they walk around with a negative face. I don't know if you've seen the face before. <laughs> It's a combination of looking angry and looking like they're working through a severe gas pain. <laughs> and sometimes the only audible sound they'll make is the sigh, right? <sighs> like they put down the phone. <sighs> they walk out of the meeting. <sighs> But sometimes they'll get talking, right? And they do their like negative fortune telling act. Oh yeah, do you ever, do you ever witness the negative fortune telling of negative people? Oh yeah, like you know, because they know exactly how things are gonna go. <laughs> like they like spreading the doom and gloom. They've always got that feeling of dread in their hearts. It's like, oh yeah, I know exactly how this is gonna go. <laughs> and it ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> right, the negative fortune tellers. Okay, so I used to work in, a, in an office briefly. I used to work in a human resources office in the Ontario government. Very long story. But it involves nepotism. Anyway. Wish I was kidding. Kind of not kidding, Jennifer. No, just really being honest with you at this moment. Anyway, um, so I used to work with a lot of negative fortune tellers. Oh yeah, like the people in the office, like they would always just know exactly how it's going to go. Like on a Monday morning, inevitably, one of them would be like scurrying around the office, all stressed out, saying, this week is going to be insane. I'm like, it's Monday. How do you know that? 
Or on a Friday, a Friday inevitably one of them would be all stressed out saying, I am never going to get all this done by the end of the day. I'm going to be working all weekend. I'm like, it's 9 a.m., give yourself a shot. <laughs> but I think the most, I think the most um, uh, common fortune-telling moment that I would hear is, um, <clears throat> this meeting is going to be a total waste of our time. <laughs> now, that one usually ended up to be true. But <laughs> Right, the negative people with their negative fortune-telling and their face and the attitudes and the comments, right? There's just a lot of negative vibes they put into a room, right? Have you ever felt people's negative vibes? You, you kind of feel them coming at you, right? And they're like completely contagious. Like they can tear through a place like wildfire. And the thing is, is with negative vibes, they have this like uncanny ability to remove all the positive energy within like a 150 meter radius, right? Like somehow the negative people can transform themselves into like, you know, from a human being to a human energy hoover. Just taking away all the positive vibes in a room. Have you, have you witnessed this? It's like, I'm having a bad day and you're all coming down with me. Yeah, anybody here work with someone who sucks? Yes. You need a sense of humor for that. You can't take that too seriously or you'll become one of them. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? May the negative people of the world inspire us to see the lighter side of life because we know all too well the impact people's energy has on others. Oh yes, let's admit it. Everybody brings joy to a room, either by entering or... <laughs> let's be very clear about that. Oh, then there's the nosy people. Right, they can stress you right out, the nosy people. You know, all up in your business. <laughs> Always sharing the latest opinion they have about, about your life, <coughs> what you should be doing, what you should not be doing. Right, they stand there and they should themselves. <laughs> you know you're a nosy person if you're standing there shoulding yourself. <laughs> this shit, that you wish it, but you wish it, yeah. I'm getting a little worked up about this one because I'm dealing with it right now, guys. The nosy people. So uh, right now, um, I find myself uh, in a very uh, functional, fulfilling, healthy, positive relationship. Yeah, well, there's a first time for everything. Thank you. And so when we're at weddings, the old people, they'll come up to me and they'll poke me and they'll say, you're next like stay out of my business that is so annoying so to even the score I do the same thing to them at funerals <laughs> you're just trying to figure out if I'm kidding right now aren't you 